Welcome to the Christmas edition of Seasons, written by Dan Wagamuth, read by Mike Duncan. The original Murdoch's Fudge. Late last week, I was notified that a package had been delivered to our house and left on the front porch. This wasn't something we had ordered, but rather a gift from a source we had yet to identify. We were also informed that the shipment had come from Murdoch's Fudge. Now, this is no ordinary fudge. It's made in Mackinac Island, Michigan, and along with their saltwater taffy, it's a classic and welcome addition to the holiday festivities. With delight, we unpacked the box. Jackpot. But soon after we unpacked our gift, I noticed Mary thinking through an estimation of the inventory we had just inherited from treasured Michigan friends. And nearly as quickly, she began to consider her options. These options circulated around the opportunity for generosity. I was less thoughtful. No offense, but this was a gift to us, our friends, our fudge. But not Mary. In her view, a generous distribution to our family would be an appropriate use of the gifts we had been given. There'd be plenty for us. Why not share the joy? I watched as she sliced through the rich chocolate bars, some with caramel, some with peanut butter, and some with nothing but grand chocolatey goodness. Unlike Mary's first instinct, mine was to hoard, to accumulate, to isolate, to indulge. A healthy soul knows that good gifts are best experienced when they're shared even if that means some level of personal sacrifice. This is what generosity looks like. It's what Christmas is about. Good gifts received so that they can be shared, evenly distributed to others who have no fudge of their own. With this example as a shining light, I can't help but wonder if I would be best off including generosity to others as part of my own personal Christmas wish list. A preoccupation with self often leads to disappointment and discouragement, but what if the good gifts that have come my way are viewed as a means to live more generously? What if the fudge that landed on my front step was simply an opportunity to steward what could in fact bring delight to others? What if Christmas is more about generosity than consumption? Mary got it far more quickly than I did. But when I saw the delight that the allocation brought to others, I realized that my joy was amplified as well. She was right. There are many ways to assess a healthy soul and a deep character, but generosity with the gifts I've been entrusted is at the top of that list. And frankly, I needed the recalibration. How about you?